Hey everybody, it's Mark with Arms and Arms and we're back with another review, uh, this time on the Aegis Elite Custom from Kimber. And you get kind of a bonus review of the red dot on this from Vortex, that's the Venom. Like everything, took the gun out, did a nice uh, round of slow shooting with it and then uh, did some more high speed drills with it to just kind of get a sense of the pistol. Um, Generally speaking, perform very well. The 9mm in a 1911 frame doesn't always run all that hot, and we see some malfunctions in that that setup without spending, uh, you know, well north of a thousand dollars in that two grand range. Um, this particular one ran really, really well. Um, trigger's great. Uh, it's what you'd expect from a, a production 1911. Um, nice, clean, and crisp. Uh, a little heavier than like a, a custom gun, but. Uh, very well executed trigger. Uh, the fit and finish of the gun is excellent. I'm not a huge fan of the reverse two-tone, but uh, if you like that, this looks excellent with the G10 scales on it. The serrations are right where you want them to be. It's, it's very rackable off the optic or off the front or rear slide serrations. Um, the gun generally ran really well. One thing I did notice with this was, like a lot of these, the 9 doesn't create a whole lot of energy for that slide. And uh, if your grip is high and you're on that slide, you can get it to mouth out. I did, it, it did happen to me once and I, I filmed that and you'll see that in the, in the video here of um, the stove uh, pipe I got in the, in the gun. It's, uh, it's not something you would expect and it could be managed around with grip, but um, you know, it is uh, something to consider, especially if this is gonna be a primary defensive gun for you. Um, controls are all very basic. Nothing to write home to mom about, nothing to be ashamed of. I, f I like to ride my thumb on the grip safety, so in this case, this is a little shallow for me, but certainly workable. Um, all around, excellent little handgun. Um, now, the Venom. I've been playing with red dots a ton this year, and uh, this is one I hadn't tried. Uh, as a competitive shooter, I like a, a larger window, and since I don't have to worry about concealment, there's no reason for me to uh, not have the biggest window I'm comfortable running. Uh, the Venom is a very, very shallow, very low profile optic. It rides very low on the bore axis. It's very easy to sight uh, both with the red dot and the co-witness pressure height sights. Um, it's an awesome little dot and the price is super cheap. I found it very clear, very crisp, very easy to track, held at zero well, which you'd expect on a, you know, a nine mil. It's not like this little violent uh, interaction with this gun. Um, all in, I really, really like the Venom. I have no idea what the long-term reliability on it is, but I will say that, uh, you know, with Vortex pretty much no matter what happens to it, you return it. They'll get you a new one or, or refurbish the one that, that you sent in. Uh, it would definitely be worth having on any gun that wasn't, uh, you know, the 100% reliability you're looking for from maybe a five or $600 dot. But for a couple hundred bucks, that is a great little red dot. So once again, Vortex Venom red dot, 6MOA, and the Aegis Elite Custom from Kimber.